When victory was complete in World War II, our government made a pledge to correct cases in which medals of honor were deserved but not awarded. Today, America honors that pledge. On behalf of the United States Congress, I award the Medal of Honor, our nation's highest military award, to Vernon Baker, Edward Carter, Jr., John Fox, Willie F. James, Jr., Reuben Rivers, Charles Thomas, and George Watson. A soldier who receives the Medal of Honor usually needs no further description. But we must remember something else here today. These heroes distinguished themselves in another almost unique way. In the tradition of African Americans who have fought for our nation as far back as Bunker Hill, they were prepared to sacrifice everything for freedom, even though freedom's fullness was denied to them. Today, America is profoundly thankful for the patriotism and the nobility of these men and for the example they set, which helped us to find the way to become a more just, more free nation. They helped America to become more worthy of them and more true to its ideals. God bless you, Vernon Baker, and God bless America.